You want to try to do the intro? Hi guys, it's your girl, Savannah Smiles. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Mama Smiles and Savannah Smiles. So today I have my mom here. It was just Mother's Day and I am up at my parents' house right now for Mother's Day. So what better of a time to film a video together? I like filming with my mom, it's a lot of fun. So I had you guys on Instagram give me some questions for a Q&A and you're gonna be answering them today. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so our first one is from Mr. QZ underscore period A who wrote, what was the weirdest thing you caught Macy doing when she was younger? Oh, I need a moment because there's a few. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know, I'm sitting there thinking, what is the best one to say? All right, the weirdest thing I would say Macy did is, um, well, you were about eight years old, seven, eight? Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. And I was outside doing a little bit of yard work. She was inside watching TV. Um, I was coming in and out. And all of a sudden, I look at Macy, and she has missing eyebrows right in the center, like right here. By right. the way, it wasn't like a slit where you see people do the eyebrow slits. It was like in the middle of my eyebrow. Yeah. So there was eyebrow on both sides of it. Yeah. Literally, she took scissors and like lifted her eyebrow as close as she could and, and cut. I mean, she's lucky she didn't cut her skin. Oh, but I used safety scissors, so I was fine. I was oh, safe. Okay, okay. You were safe. You were safe. It was horrible <laughs> because I was like, what did you do? Like, you can't fix that. Like, this is like a problem. I was screaming and then um, dad comes running in from outside like, what's wrong? What happened? Oh my gosh. He was freaking out. And um, I show him, look at what Macy did. And he's like, oh, pfft. no big deal. Well, I did not feel that way. So at that time in my life, I was probably just as like tan as you are. Mm -hmm. And it was like shaving your head white. My eyebrows were so thick. It was a part of my skin that had never been exposed never, yeah. to the sunlight. So it was like what do we do really, really bright. I remember sitting in the mirror in my bedroom because I had this butterfly mirror and I was like, oh crap, that looks really bad. I was like, you know, maybe if I do it to the other side, mom won't notice and just wear a hat. I never cut my own bangs, but I did cut my eyebrows. <laughs> underscore go Kuraj underscore D wrote, did your mom like cooking? So I think people are asking because I've finally kind of started to show myself cooking on the channel and definitely Instagram has seen a lot of it. So they're curious if you like cooking as oh, well. Absolutely. I have always cooked um, since I was a little girl. My mom always encouraged me to cook. Cooking's always been a big part of our family. And I mean, as far back as little as Macy could stand on it or I'd set her on the counter, she was baking and cooking with me. So. Absolutely. Baking, cooking. In high school, you were a little worried though, because I knew like ooh, how to make one to two things by myself. Because like I would help you, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to fully make things by myself. And you're like, oh, what's she going to do when she moves out? Well, I don't know if it's that you fully couldn't. It's like you didn't want to, I think. Yeah. Yep. So we got this next one from Dreamcatcher50 who wrote, would Macy have moved out even if I wasn't dating for him? I would say probably. I feel like I would have stayed at home definitely a few months or like maybe a year longer, but I don't know if it would have been that much longer. Right. Uh, I think that is exactly what I mean as well. I would have imagined that you and one of your um, friends would have probably been mm -hmm. ready to move out. You can stay yeah. at home as long as you want. <laughs> I'll keep you. Okay. <laughs> Got the sex one from Flinzy Minnick who wrote, your mom is a 90s babe and you look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. Okay, this next one is from Ruth Ann Demmer who wrote, what other names did you consider before choosing Macy? I actually wanted to name her Savannah, which I snuck in as her middle name. <laughs> <laughs> there was no other girl names that, um, that I even considered except for Savannah. And um, we did not know if Macy was gonna be a girl or boy. We were waiting till, um, till we gave birth to find out. So our boy name was Mason. And so we kind of came up, I did one day, I was like, well, Macy, that's like a cute version of Mason. Mm -hmm. That just stuck well, but Savannah would have been it. Okay, this next one is from Kayla M. Volleyball. She, I think she ends up in every single one of my Q and A's, but she always has really good questions. So she wants us to tell her a funny or cute Macy related story to Mother's Day. Like a story with me and Mother's Day. I don't know if this is cute, but this is one that always comes to mind. She was in preschool and they were doing a Mother's Day tea. So she was so excited for me to go. They were going to paint our nails. Um, 
you, that must she was have been either three or four. So, um, so they were going to paint our nails and they were going to serve us tea and um, sing us a little song. And it was going to be on a Thursday. And that Wednesday, she got the stomach flu. So we had to stay home. She ended up making me a little tea at home. It was so interesting. Like cheese sticks and um, <laughs> goldfish <laughs> crackers. Um, I mean, it was like anything she could possibly like find. I actually think you put like, like a package of lunch meat. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially you got a turkey sandwich unwrapped <laughs> no but it, it like didn't even match like then there was chocolate i couldn't even let you eat it because your stomach was so upset you know Aww. you had to be careful i think you mm. got to eat fishy crackers or something that was it it was super sweet okay so we got this next from from uzi user who wrote is your mom latina no i would say most of what i am is italian but not all the way because my mom's got um, some Italian in her. Um, my dad, I think just a little bit, and then I've got just some random little things from my dad, but I guess I get my olive skin and my dark coloring from my mom and um, and my Italian. Okay, the next one from basic lens underscore wrote, ask her if you could adopt me. Could, could you adopt basic lens underscore? <laughs> I need to know a little bit more information about you first <laughs> before I can adopt you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got this next one from Melanie, period, C, period, young, who wrote, do you also love Trader Joe's as much as Macy? Oh my goodness, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another one from Melanie C. Young, but I like this one. What is her favorite video of yours? So what's your favorite video that I have done? So here's, here's my videos on my phone and you can scroll through and figure out which one. All right, so you picked this one? Yes, my boyfriend picks my clothes. It was expensive. I liked watching that one. I thought that was a lot of fun. The other one that I um, really like is that one with you and I. <laughs> Which one with I you and I? I don't know, but you should watch it. So we got this next one from Emma Play, who wrote, why is your home decorated so perfectly and can you give some tips? Kissy emoji, heart emoji. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I love decorating. I always have since I've been very young. Back in the day when I was in high school, I used to make like these little stencils. I mean, I know this is in the 80s, but these little stencils and I would, my mom would just let me do whatever I wanted to my room. I just always have loved decorating. Um, that's probably one of my favorite things to do. There's always times too when I'm trying to figure out stuff and I'll be on FaceTime like, okay, I want to do this in my closet, but what do you think? And like, what color should this be? And you always have like the perfect answer. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oi Fabi wrote, how does she look so pretty every day? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, but I'm telling you in the morning, it's not that way. I work hard at it. <laughs> By the way, I'm not just selecting questions. That's like the majority <laughs> of them. It's like, how is she so pretty? How does she look so young? Are you sure she's not your sister? So I'm like, oh, not. That's so sweet. Well, thank you very much. Cause I do not feel that way. I look at myself and I watch these and I definitely critique myself on, oh gosh, I look like that. Oh, I look like this. Oh, I've got a wrinkle there. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, this next one is from A underscore tap. How did your parents meet? Oh, uh, I met dad from my best friend. She used to date my, um, my husband's brother and she introduced us. We didn't, um, we actually grew up very close by each other, but we didn't know each other from there. That friend introduced us, my best friend. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> What was the most trouble Macy got in during my childhood? The most she would get into is when it was time for bed, she was supposed to be sleeping and I would find her awake reading by the nightlight, <laughs> like sneaking out of bed to read more. So, I mean, imagine how tough that is as a parent. Like you want your kids to read, but you want them to go to bed. Like that was a little bit of a tough one. So uh, yeah, just nights she'd like to like sneak out and read. Okay, that guy you should follow wrote, what did you do for Mother's Day this year with me? Well, today mm -hmm. we are going out to one of my most favorite restaurants that Macy is treating me mm -hmm. to. To get a steak dinner. Mm -hmm. Because is it Mother's Day if you do not eat steak? Exactly. All right, so that was the video. Don't forget to smash the YouTube algorithm for the like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the smash button. Don't forget to end 